today's video, I am exploring a frozen wonderland in search of macro photos just like these. Minus seven when I left the house this morning. Minus seven. I think that is the coldest I have known it to get um, in Edinburgh, certainly since I've lived here. But the result is, is that everything is absolutely frozen solid. All of the trees, all of the leaves. There's such a deep frost across everything and it looks absolutely stunning. thought this is absolutely has to be an amazing opportunity for some macro because I love coming out and shooting leaves and patterns and things anyway but today all of those same leaves those same things creating those patterns have now got that extra element of winter of ice crystals that are formed all over them so it makes everything so much more interesting to shoot also, I think it's a really good opportunity to bring in some light and to get some really interesting effects using flash. So I'm gonna scout about, see what I can find. I really like shooting these leaves because they're all just absolutely encrusted with ice. But I'm bringing my flashing because I really think that I can make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more creative. I'm keeping it off camera so I can literally just move it around with my hand. That allows me to create some direction with the light rather than it just flooding the whole scene. It's working really nicely actually because we haven't really got a lot of sunlight down here, so everything is really, really flat. There isn't any direction, there's certainly no contrast. So by bringing in my own light, I'm not only creating that contrast and bringing in that kind of form, but the light itself actually catches on all of these little ice crystals and really brings everything out. So I'm just gonna move my camera around, try and find some more compositions here on these leaves, because everything is absolutely covered in these ice crystals. My hands are freezing. I really like this scene here because I just filled it with one of these ivy leaves. It's got a lovely fringe of, of ice crystals all around it. If I take a shot without this flash on, if, if I just turn this off, uh, F10, half a second exposure. I think the shot looks really, really nice. But let's just take the same shot with our flash on f11 take it right up to a hundredth of a second suddenly we get a much more dramatic image we've thrown a lot of that background into darkness and that light really picks out the leaf now it's not necessarily a nicer shot nicer of course is subjective and you may well prefer the the natural light shot it's definitely got a very different look to it. It's much more striking. Personally, I love macro shots that are lit like this with flash. Because you're creating that light yourself, you don't need to worry about whether you've got the right conditions. If anything, having that lower light, flat light like this is much better because there's nothing affecting your own light. Okay, let's look for some more shots. I love these leaves here. They've got a lovely sort of curving form to them. And again, all completely encrusted with ice. So I've got a nice shot set up. It's a vertical composition. We've got the main leaf here, but also a couple of these smaller ones in the top of the frame. 
And what I want to do is hold my light above, firing down, just hoping to get more of the edges of the leaf to really emphasize that curving form. So again, I'm at f11, hundredth of a second, a light above. I really like how that looks. Focusing just on this leaf this time. Lovely top down of an ivy leaf on this log. Again, all frosty. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not using flash for this shot because I actually think the natural light version looks nice enough. So I'm at F11, 0 0.3 seconds, tap to focus. Again here, top down shot, got lovely golden leaf in amongst the green, F11, tap to focus and take my shots. And here there's this little leaf hanging off and I just really like the way it's sort of being backlit by the sun coming through, but I've put another leaf as immediate foreground interest so it goes all out of focus at F2.8 natural light that's all this needs got some lovely fern leaves curling ground so i've been trying to find a composition i like i think i've settled on this f10 160th of a second i am bringing my flash in i didn't fire let's try that again oh turning it on helps Nope, right over here. Oh, that's quite nice. I absolutely love how it picks out all those details. But it also kind of gives a lot more shadow behind each leaf, which helps the leaf really stand out. So I've gone a little bit closer on the, these leaves now. And if I just take a shot of this um, using the natural light, F10, let's say a fifth of a second. I really like it. I think it looks lovely. But just for the sake of it, let's just see what this looks like with our flash. I'm gonna turn that up to F8. We're gonna go 160th of a second. Now, if I take a shot without firing the flash at this point, we should just get basically a blank frame, pretty much anyway. So let's turn our flash back on. So let's hold our flash off to the side, like it did in the previous shots. I do think that looks really nice. But let's bring our aperture down to f4.5. ISO down to 100. I shouldn't have to adjust my flash here. Let's take that shot again. So we've still got that depth of field, or the shallow depth of field rather, in that we've got some nice fall off. This isn't focused, but it falls off towards um, the back of the frame, which is nice because you get that real sense of depth here. But because we've lit this, we've now got more, much more shadow going on, which really helps these leaves really stand out in a way that maybe they don't quite so much with the natural light shot. So I really like this uh, little nettle leaf, again encrusted with frost. But what I think I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to hold the flash directly behind it, firing through the leaf and towards the camera. I think it's going to look really cool being backlit like that. So I'm going to F14, 160th of a second. Auto focus on the leaf. Nope, oh, my flash is in shot. Let's try this again. I really like that as a technique, but I think I can find a better leaf to do it on. One that uh, maybe kind of stands by itself a little bit more because there was sort of a, a little bit of a branch behind that that cast a shadow that I'm not too keen on. 
So I'm going to look around and see if I can find any that I think will work. Ooh. Hello. Maybe this one. I framed up a shot where this leaf is very much filling the frame in a vertical composition. My hands are like solid blocks of ice. And actually what I've done is rather than use a faster shutter speed to uh, cancel out all of the ambient light, I'm instead used a slower one of a 30th of a second. So I want to try and bring some of this light in. I don't want this to be just a black background. So I'm at F13, 30th of a second. I've upped my ISO to 160. But again, I'm going to hold this flash pretty much behind the leaf, just out of frame, firing back towards the camera. Autofocus. I've just found a few others just here as well. I'm just going to try the exact same technique. Flash behind. Okay. So I found this lovely golden leaf just hanging by itself. And I really like that it's just sort of fringed with these crystals slightly back up my scene. I'm going to centrally frame it. I'm shooting vertically. So again, let's start off by taking a shot in the natural light. I'm going to go f6.3, tenth of a second. Tap to focus. And as a natural light shot, I actually really like it because we've got that lovely kind of curve um, of the leaf going on. But do you think that I can make this even more interesting using the flash? So let's go to uh, F9 and I'm going to go to 160th of a second. Now if I take that same shot now, we should have pretty much a black frame. So if I start off with a black frame, that means that any light that now comes in the shot, I know that I've got full control over. So what I'm going to do is hold my light basically above and give this like top down casting of light on this leaf. Ooh. I really <laughs> like it. Really brings out all those ice crystals, but also because we're creating much more shadow on the leaf, it really emphasizes its sort of curling form. And just <laughs> one another shot of these same leaves because I found this great one by itself. I've decided to go for a landscape composition here. But again, I'm at F9, 160th of a second. And let's just try taking that shot using the natural light. You know, it's fine. It's a lovely shot. You know, shows off the leaf and everything. But again, we can definitely do better. So let's go. Let's go higher with our shutter speed. We take our black frame. And I'm going to try a few things. Again, I'm going to start off just by taking, holding it above the leaf. I think that looks lovely. Because the difference between this shot with that dramatic lighting over the natural light version is huge. Because that light really catches on all of those crystals and it just looks absolutely stunning. It's a very, very different mood though, a very, very different image. So it might not be to everyone's taste, but what I'm also gonna do is try backlighting it a little bit as well. Same focus point right in the middle of the leaf this time holding the light behind it, firing through towards the camera. I mean, I really like that too. Quick and easy shot of ivy leaf. Flash off to one side. Great stuff. So here I found this little top-down scene, just these three leaves in amongst all of this other leaf litter. But I'm gonna bring my flash in here, not to light everything up, but actually to try and get it very close and just put light on those three leaves themselves. Hopefully, therefore, allowing them to stand out from all this mess in a way that they just don't in the natural light. 
So right now I'm at f13, an 80th of a second. Actually, I'm going to bring that up to 200th of a second because shutter speed doesn't matter when you're using your flash. I'm going to bring it in quite close and take a shot. Already, I really like that. It's created a spotlight on those leaves and that does just help isolate them from everything else that's going on. I've slightly shifted my camera because I saw some more interesting leaf patterns going on. But I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Just bringing my flash in nice and close. Well, I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. I won't lie, I do feel like I've rather suffered for it because every part of me is frozen solid. I cannot wait to get home and have a very hot cup of tea and maybe even a soak in the bath just to defrost all of my frozen bones. But I'm so glad that I took the time to come out because I haven't seen conditions like this in Edinburgh before. Certainly I haven't tried to tackle these kinds of conditions using a macro lens. And it's been absolutely incredible to shoot here. Everything has taken on a completely different look and I really, really love it. But if you've enjoyed this video, then do please hit that like button. And of course, consider subscribing to my channel if you don't already. And I will see you next time.